Chris Moneymaker in the money, looking to win his first EPT title. That's right. And, you know, this is a guy who has seen the final table of a very important event, so the pressure's off him a little bit more than it might be off some of the other players. Roland passes. We've lost a lot of big names. Several remain, though, including Mr. Moneymaker and Mr. DeWolf, so who's raises. folded here. So it's left a flat can to open the action, raising it up Makes with Jack Ten of Diamonds. That's actually a fairly standard Kaka raise. Passes, you passes. hope to win the blinds. Maybe you won't, but you can play. It's been folded to Anthony Lelouch. He's from France, and he plays mainly live poker in high-stakes cash games. Chris Moneymaker. Oh, looks like he's going to call here. He's got pocket threes. Right, and Chris is basically, he's got the button, Chris and he calls. wants to flop a set here. 8,400. Playing position. He will have the advantage of acting last in all future betting rounds. But here, we see Daniel Mangus of Spain with pocket eights. And he says all in. Right, he's trying to get this Daniel's hand over with right now. Relatively short stat. About 69. Should be relatively easy I don't for Black Can to lay down the Jack 10. I would think so, particularly with Chris behind him, because he doesn't know where Chris is. How much do you have, sir? I have, after that 8,000, I have. 69,000 left. Not quite sure why he's so interested in Chris's stack. Surely it's an easy lay down. It's not, but okay. he doesn't want to call Daniel and then have Chris come over the top for a uh, whole fold. lot more chips. Chris fold. Well, they both fold. And Daniel Mangus looks a support. bit disappointed. <laughs> no, he's not disappointed. Believe me, he was delighted to win all those chips without a showdown with his eights.